Okay guys, back again. Um, I have a side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. The freezer part is leaking water on my hardwood floor, which is a no-no. So I thought I would attempt to repair that and show you how I go about doing it. You can also see the problem. No need to call a repair person to charge you a service call. Uh, you can do this yourself. Um, you can see, hopefully you can see, uh, let me get the flashlight so you can see it. You see right back there, uh, that is the drain port. That's the drain hole. Uh, when the freezer defrosts itself, that water that it melts has to go somewhere. That's the hole. If it freezes up for some reason, there gets some debris in there. Uh, clogs or prevents the water from draining and then that water will refreeze and you have a freeze thaw cycle that water has to go somewhere and what it's doing is spilling out the front around the seal on my hardwood floor so as I said that's that's something that I can't abide by so how I go about uh, correcting this issue uh, got a few tools that I use. Uh, first of those is um, that is a plastic you don't want to use anything hard if you can get around it. That's a plastic scraper. There you have a dead blow hammer. Uh, there's a five-in-one tool and then I have this um, little spyglasses mirror that I can use to make sure that the drain hole is clear. Uh, so with no further ado, we'll get to work. Uh, what I try to do is to break it up a little bit with this dead blow hammer, then take the plastic scraper and or the um, five-in-one tool, being very, very careful uh, and, and breaking up all that glass, uh, ice and getting it out. Uh, this refrigerator is probably, what? 18 years old maybe so I'm sure it's on its last legs I've had to do this about three times in the last four or five months so um, it has a few other issues as well so I, I thought I'd just record this and give you uh, an opportunity to learn how to do this yourself rather than call an appliance repair person okay here I'm gonna get started Take a bowl and break it in there. As much of it as you can. Uh, you do want to use a dead blow hammer. You do not want to use a regular hammer. Uh, you will break stuff that you don't want to break. plastic scraper and again it's plastic and it won't damage the interior here okay. I know you can't see all of that ice I mean but you want to get all of it that you can. And ideally, you would unplug the refrigerator freezer, as long as it didn't have anything in it, of course, and wait for all of the ice to melt. And again, ideally, it'd be outside, but this isn't. It's in my kitchen. 
Uh, so there you have a shelf where that drain hole is. And there's the ice all in there. So I'm gonna try to break that up. defrost themselves there's basically a heating element back there that melts the ice and that water has to go somewhere and when that drain plug is stopped up it's going to go on the floor that's as simple as it is okay hope you learned something um, I'll go about putting the rest of my frozen food back and I'll talk to you later